this is a story of people taking a medication that was prescribed by a doctor and ultimately when we tried to discontinue taking the medication we became injured i was i was a mom i was a teacher and i was living with anxiety i went to my doctor i was prescribed clonopin for anxiety and i was on it for a few years I was told that the method is to taper in four weeks. The things that happened to me following that, I had never experienced before in my life. I couldn't um, bathe, like bathing hurt my skin. Like just every part of your body is affected by this injury. Your your entire central nervous system, con it controls everything from blinking to to how the air feels on your skin to how you process light coming in from windows, all of that is affected. And it's terrifying. I went to my primary care physician and she told me that that was my natural state. I received a phone call from a friend telling me that Lisa Ling was thinking about doing this show and she needed, um, they were, the, the show was looking for people to send in videos to pick people to interview. Um, and my friend asked me to do it. I This is not my thing. I, doing this video right now makes me really nervous. Um, I'm not a public speaker. I'm shy. Um, but the reason I ended up doing it is I knew... What had happened to me. I, I know without a doubt that this ha has nothing to do with addiction. This, this, like I said, it, it was an injury and I knew I would tell the story in a way that needed to be told. I was shocked when, when they called me back. I was extremely nervous. Um, it happened really fast. So by the time I sent the video in, I received a call in a few weeks. I did an over-the-phone interview. Um, I gave them all kinds of information. They did some research and they said, you know, can we come out in a few weeks and film? So by the time from sending the video in to when they showed up at my door to do filming, it was just within a month. Um, I didn't have time to process or to really get ready mentally, uh, but I was feeling okay at that point in my taper, and uh, it took two days of filming for my part. Um, they were amazing. They, they were really interested in everything I had to say. Um, they wanted to get it right. It, it, I, I went over so much with them, and the show is like what it's like 45 minutes of filming and I know they had other stories to tell in the episode so there's just no possible way they could have fit everything that um, a benzo injury that what happens to us when we're injured um, but they did get the major important points across after filming I, yeah, I I was super sensitive to stress during my taper. Um, anything would cause symptoms to return. Anything that would, you know, cause anxiety. I, I was basically like an open wound. Anything would set me off. And so obviously after filming, I was thrown back into another wave. Um, and I had symptoms pretty much for the rest of my taper. It was livable though. And I, and I don't regret doing it. The two things that I hope will be covered in the media in the coming weeks and months, now that our story is out there, um, one, the crazy list of symptoms.
that there's like a list of 90 symptoms uh, that happen when you try to stop taking a benzodiazepine. And some of them are absolutely crazy, like I said. At one point, I was so sick. Um, the, I, like I said, I just couldn't live my normal life. I, the, the world didn't seem real to me. Everything uh, seemed fake and plastic. Looking at my kids, looking at my husband, looking at my, my mom, they didn't seem like, I knew I knew them, I knew I loved them, but there was something had been cut off. Um, that was terrifying. The, the, the feeling inside of me, the, the fear, I guess, the, I, you're put into a, a state of extreme fight or flight and that doesn't go away. You're, I'm, I was constantly in a state of fear and it was almost unlivable. I, I just couldn't take it like another second, but I did, I'm here. Um, but people in that state are just suffering so much agony. Um, the the there's a symptom called akathisia, and I, I I can't put words to that. It's it's um it's a feeling of just inner agitation, which that is such a wrong word to use. It's such a torturous feeling. Um, where you, you just, you are not still in your own soul. You, you want to leave your own body and it's, it's a torturous feeling. That's all I can say. I hope that this list of symptoms is covered so people can recognize it, know that it's actually the medication they're taking that could be causing these symptoms. Uh, I was, I was, I guess, lucky. I reinstated on Valium and I was able to taper slowly to kind of slowly heal, I guess, from the damage that had been done. Some people are taken off the medication just cold turkey, and some are tapered like I was in four weeks and are not reinstated, and those people suffer from something that's called protracted withdrawal, which really, withdrawal is the wrong word to use. It's, it's, it's a protracted injury. Um, and it's, it's not months to recover. It's years. These people are suffering for years from the, it's, it's like a traumatic brain injury. Um, it takes them years to recover. And that part of the story needs to be told. These people suffering that are not tapering anymore, but they're basically unable to live their lives because they stop taking a benzodiazepine too quickly. Doctors need to know that this is an injury. It, it truly has nothing to do with addiction. And I am just so grateful that Lisa told the story correctly. I finished my taper seven months ago and I'm doing well. I'm, I'm back to living my life. Um, because I tapered so slowly, I was able to somehow undo some of the damage that had been done. And when I took my last drop, I went down to 0 0.01 milligrams. I went down to the very last drop. Um, nothing really bad happened after that last drop. Uh, what had happened to me prior when I stopped taking in four weeks that acute phase of just completely devastating symptoms did not happen. So if you taper slowly um, and you listen to your body as you taper, you don't go too fast, you hold when you need to hold, there is a way to come off of a benzodiazepine and not suffer that badly. Um, doctors need to know about this method though. They need to know to listen to their patients, to allow them to go as slow as they need, and slow meaning years. It took me two and a half years to get off the remaining portion of my benzodiazepine. And so I've been off for seven months. I Everything is almost back to normal. I still suffer from memory problems. I still suffer from confusion, brain fog but it's so much less than what it was. And I do get a lot of windows where I feel totally normal. So I know that my body is still continuing to heal. Um, 
and that's it. I, I just wanted to make this video to thank people and to let people know that I'm okay now and that there is hope and that our story is hopefully going to be told now. If you have any other questions for me, um, leave them in the comments below and I will try to, to get back to you. I, I have said this before. Um, I, I am, after living through what I lived through, I'm, 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 I'm not going to leave people that are still stuck in this behind. I, this is my purpose now to help people. Um, so that's that. Bye.